Today's Grace is another Percy's Fast for Toy Story. Yay! Amazing! Grace is... Another Percy's Fast for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is... Another Percy's Fast for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> yeah. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. Yes. And for today we have another vintage toys from my, you know, antiquated stash of fast food toy collection. This is actually from 1994, which was given away by McDonald's Happy Meal. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this great? It's, it is a dog with some uh, certain Chinese symbolism. So, uh, back in 1994, McDonald's released all these series of dogs, which are actually the animals from the Chinese years. Uh, yeah, the Chinese calendar. <laughs> So this is probably from, uh, this is most likely the year of the dog representing the year of the dog in the Chinese calendar. Look at that. Looks very happy. I think he's even winking here. The dog is winking actually and then he is giving out a very big smile which uh, somehow kind of gives you a good vibe. Especially during the, the, the year of the dog when the dog is at its most luckiest. I think when they have uh, the year, I think the people who were born in, in that particular year, uh, the animal year, uh, would uh, inevitably become very lucky. Of course, uh, what's so fascinating about this uh, Chinese tradition is that there are certain ways that you can counteract if you're unlucky for that year. That um, Yeah, you can go to Geomancer or learn about certain... Um, oh, what's this? Uh, learn about certain stuff like this uh, particular gadget to actually make it uh, a luckier year for those who are lucky and make it an even luckier year for those who are lucky in the year but uh, today apparently this year 2020 uh, which started off last February well we're still in February a couple of days ago we celebrated the Chinese New Year and it ushered in the year of the mouse <laughs> yeah that's why it's very very lucky especially for those who are actually Mouse characters like Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Mighty Mouse, uh, Speedy Gonzalez, uh, Jerry from the Terry, uh, Tom and Jerry play. <laughs> okay, so the toy, look at that. It's color purple. Is it purple? Some, something like blue. And then he has this Chinese uh, vase or a base. Yeah. It's very ornately designed, so most likely this is a uh, very uh, Chinese uh, tradition. Oh, it looks like a gong. Okay, probably a gong. But you have to gong in order to uh, make it a really lucky year. And then he is actually even holding this green bag of uh, um, trinkets, which are really, really very fascinating as they um, allude to certain things. They can actually bring about certain good luck. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. And what's so fascinating about this particular toy is that it's made of a really rare material. It's hard, but it's not really plastic, but it's sort of a hard rubber, uh, which made the toy really very durable. And imagine, this is from 1994, so basically it's um, 26 years old. <laughs> imagine that. And then I simply cleaned it up and it's... Uh, it, looks so spiffy and it's good as new. Look at that, it's so cute and so adorable. <laughs> Probably the next time we do celebrate the Chinese uh, New Year of the dog, I could uh, always bring it out uh, if actually to usher in this uh, the New Year, Year of the dog. Okay, so this is great from McDonald's. 
can see there's this uh, tiny insignia of the golden arches at the bottom to make it really an authentic uh, McDonald's merchandise uh, from McDonald's Happy Meal. I just don't know which country, but probably it's uh, from one of the Asian countries, probably China or Japan or <laughs> yeah. Anyone from the neighboring countries here in Asia because I don't think uh, they ever um, gave out this particular toy here in the Philippines. So, yeah, I couldn't possibly recall who exactly the person or my brain person why I was able to get this uh, particular toy, but it is definitely an amazing and a well appreciated uh, addition to my present fast toy story. Okay, or probably when I did go to Kubao, there are some um, stores here that are selling out old um, old uh, Happy Meal toys or any other uh, fast food uh, restaurant toys and uh, it's, it's really, really <laughs> very exhilarating to be able to visit those places and then find for yourself new artifacts like uh, you know, holy grails, so to speak. I mean, great finds in those particular toys, such as this one. And I must say, this is just amazing grace. <laughs> so once again, guys, let's try to be thankful for every amazing grace that comes to our lives, be they in the form of this Year of the Dog from the Chinese calendar, brought to us by McDonald's Happy Meal. Ooh, so cute. Or also be thankful for the Year of the Mouse this year. <laughs> And all of these wonderful Chinese traditions which make which makes our lives um, so much more exciting, so much more colorful. I mean, yeah, even if we're not necessarily Chinese, we can always uh, adopt these traditions um, for fun and then to make our years a lot more lucky, <laughs> I suppose. Or basically, guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or just truly eventful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and lucky. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you so much for always tuning in to Versus Fast with Toys, and I hope to see you again with our next one. So until then, Ba-ba-da-ba-ba, love kato. Bye, see you around.